Hey everybody, Chosa Abbey Gaming Studios. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually fix an update issue or any issue that you're that you're having regarding um, your PS4 from either reading this or just loading up after, after updating your PS4. Now, there was a new update called 4.70. And this update has some performance issues, um, performance issues um, fixed. So there is some um, fixes that was also changed. Um, so there also is little fixes for matchmaking for tournaments. So that was one of the changes. But now a lot of people were experiencing on the PlayStation forums of after the update, it's kind of screwed up their PS4s, which it was unable, they're unable to boot up correctly, just freezing. Or anything like that this video I'm going to be showing you on how to fix that if you're having those issues unfortunately that never happened to my ps4 when I updated it but it's I think it believe is more prone to the PS probably the ps4 pro I'm not fully sure and the older versions of ps4 so if you want to get this fixed then instantly just follow this video so the first many changes that I've noticed within the PlayStation platform of, for PS4 is that when I turned on my PS4 before the update, I've noticed that these icons here, as you can see, PS Now, sorry guys, um, the PlayStation Now icon is completely different. I'm like, wow, okay, that's weird. And then I, I just noticed a lot of things. I don't know. I don't know if it was in the previous update. I just thought it was completely weird. So the first thing you want to do is we want to fix it. Is that if you're having issues of freezing, which I'm not having because. I was having that issue before the update, but um, um, but the first thing you want to do is you want to instantly just turn off your console and just make sure it's fully off. If your if your PS4 freezing, then be sure to just unplug it and leave it around, leave it off for about like 30 seconds or, or, or unplugged, and then replug it back in, and then don't turn on the PS4 at all because you're gonna you're gonna need to do this. I'm gonna leave my controller right here right on top of here and we are going to instantly go to the PS4 and you're gonna wait it's gonna take through about roughly about 30 seconds to turn it off if you turn it off normally but if you if you ref, if you just turn it off um, just instantly just don't worry about anything just just wait so wait for a few seconds and then the power should turn off you should see the light the light turn off first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a USB cable because this requires you to have a USB cable plugged into your controller I have a 10 feet one so it doesn't really apply to me so the first thing you want to do is you want to plug in plug in your controller sorry there's no lighting here cuz um, plug in your controller and then put it down to the side then go into your PS4 and then press and hold the power button. You're going to hear the first beep and then you're going to hear a second beep after. Like that. Once you hear the second beep, just let go of the power button and you're on your way. It will go into safe mode. It will ask you, okay, let's let's instantly just see this. Let's see if we can zoom this out. We can't zoom out anymore, but okay, it's fine. Um, once you actually have your DualShock 4 controller plugged in the USB to your PS4, press the PS button and you're instantly going to click Rebuild Database. You can instantly factory reset if you want to. If you also have this doesn't as well doesn't work at all, then just be sure to update system software through using recovery, not using the system itself, and just update using internet and you should be fine. If that doesn't else work, then my suggesting is to reinstall the system software and complete that brand new. That's what I usually would do, but this time I didn't. But yeah, all you have to do is click click um, the database will rebuild. It might take a few hours to rebuild the database. Then click OK. The PS4 will restart. I'm doing this for this specifically for this video. So yeah. So once actually once you actually get it, you'll see a white light still. Um, then you turn into blue and then it automatically will turn into either stay blue or stay or turn into white one of those two as you can see the PS4 just turned on and you know it's still blue and boom there you go your PS4 will boot up it'll take a few seconds for it to boot up and then it's going to take a rebuilding database this can take a few hours depending on how much stuff you have into your PS4 or or sometimes it usually takes within seconds. So as you can see here, it just started within seconds, and there you go.
this depending on the, how, how much stuff this year is happening, then it will just probably, this is what, this will fix it. So what Rebuild Database does is that basically it's just like the way how you did it on P3 where you check file system, it would delete corrupted files. Rebuilding Database is an alternative version of, of that built for rebuilding the, the OS files again and then just deleting crap that was corrupted and then replace, with a, replace them with brand, a brand new one. Um, So yeah, so this takes actually depending, as I said, depending on your time of storage. Once it's done, it won't re your PS4 won't reboot. It'll just take you to your to your menu. You can just click select it and just go boom. You will instantly after that you'll see some notifications pop up that you might have to you know as I said um, you're gonna have to instantly just clear out and it's pretty much normal. But that's how you fix it. And I'm sorry if the screen's so big. Um, <laughs> I didn't prepare for this um, very well, but um, that's how you pretty much fix it if you're experiencing freezing issues with a new current update. If you have experiencing any other issues, then I recommend you guys try the other options or, re or most likely to reinstall the operating system, meaning that your PS4 will format the hard drive, including all your data, and instantly um, fix that problem when you reinstall the operating system. Just remember when you actually do this, this won't delete any data, so it won't delete anything, but it will it will remove any folders that you have added within any games, um, such as if I put Call of Duty in one Call of Duty for folder, it's gonna reset the folder, and you're not gonna, you have to put those games back in folder, but it won't delete anything such as trophy information or anything like that. It just cleans out corrupted files. And that's pretty much what it does. So I hope you guys thought this was very, very informational. If you guys do want to support my channel and see more just like this, I'll be soon having another guide very, very soon once they update the PS4 Remote Play to install that. And you guys can get the next update in the following video. I'm not fully sure if I am going to make it, but in the, in, in the upcoming months or upcoming weeks, there might be it. I also have show you guys how have, I'm going to be having another unboxing very very soon probably by next week or this week um i'm not fully sure i i ordered something really really really, really that was useful for one of my hard drives and i want to show you guys on how it's gonna it's gonna be a tutorial that is gonna be on how to extend your storage in a, in, in a more easiest fashion as possible and i'm gonna show you how to set everything up so as well so when you want to do it then that's be that's before another video guys i hope you guys thought this video was very 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 informative and helpful for you guys so i hope you guys do enjoy and as well don't forget to say, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new and you just recently came upon to my channel and just came upon to this video be sure to subscribe because it helps a lot and when you and as you subscribe right next to the subscribe button there is a bell button that you can instantly get um instant notifications whenever i upload or live stream i do live streams a lot guys and I, it means a lot for me guys that you guys join in and have some fun with us me and my friend especially or just me and we can have some fun talk about you have talk about you talk about anything talk about sports or anything like that and we can have a blast um we're almost actually 1000 subscribers and i'm i'm gonna be shocked and I have a special surprise for that for for that occasion. But until then, guys, let's get to let's reach up to a thousand and let's get that let's see where we can go. Because when I when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to enable super chat and you as you guys fans can support me to do get an Elgato PC and stuff like that. Then that will be much much great for me because I can get a PC, I can get an Elgato, and I can stream do more, better tutorials than just having to do this way with camera. And it's just frustrating for me because I hate doing using camera, but it's only for you guys. And if you guys want to support me through that way, then that's great. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.